Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well and having a fantastic day. In today's video, I would like to share another delicious recipe with you guys called Beef Rendang. Without further ado, let's get on with the preparation, shall we? What I've prepared here are some cloves, Sichuan peppercorns, star anise, mandarin peel, crushed ginger and cinnamon stick. Firstly, let's fill the pot up with some water. Then pop the ginger and all the spices in and bring everything to the boil. For today's dish, I will be using a nice piece of beef flank. Now, let's cut them into small pieces. You can also use beef brisket or shin if you prefer. After that, carefully place the beef in the boiling water. The reason for doing this guys, is to draw out excess impurities and fat from the beef. Give it a stir. Then bring everything to the boil. Once everything is boiling, skim the scum from the sides. Alright guys, now let's turn the heat to the lowest and place the lid on and let it braise for 60 minutes. Next, prepare some toasted cumin seeds, toasted fennel seeds, toasted coriander seeds, cloves, star anise, cinnamon stick, toasted cardamom seeds, pre-soaked dry red chilies, candle nuts, sliced turmeric, seeded red cut chilies, sliced garlic, sliced ginger, sliced galangal, and roughly chopped red shallots. So now let's pop all the herbs and spices into a blender except for the star anise, cardamom seeds, cloves and cinnamon stick. As for the lemongrass, I will only be using the white middle part to blend. So I'm saving this outer layer part here for when I'm cooking the rendang paste. Now thinly slice the lemongrass. After that, pop into the blender with the rest of the ingredients. Thank you. 
go in with a bit of water and blend everything up into a paste. All ready guys, so let's transfer the paste into a bowl. While waiting for the beef to be slowly braised, I'm going for a jog in the park, so I shall see you guys in a bit. It's time to remove our semi-soft and tender beef from its broth. Carefully fish them out into a colander. Mmm, this smells lovely guys. Set the beef stock aside because we will be needing it later. Try to remove the spices out as much as possible. I guess that's about it guys, now let's get on with the rendang paste. Heat up the wok with a generous amount of oil. When it's hot, carefully pour in the blended ingredients. Give it a gentle stir and slowly sweat them for 30 minutes. After sweating for 5 minutes-ish, add in the remaining spices. Keep on stirring to avoid getting burned at the bottom. As we cook the paste, it will eventually change into this beautiful deeper orangey colour. By now, you should be able to smell the nice aroma from all the herbs and spices. After 18 minutes-ish, let's go in with the tamarind paste. Keep on stirring. After cooking the paste for another 5 minutes-ish, most of the excess water will be evaporated by now. When you can see a thin layer of oil being separated from the paste, give it a one last stir. Alright, now let's go in with the beef and mix them up thoroughly. Smells really gorgeous, guys. Add in the beef stock and followed by the coconut milk. Gently mix everything up well.
then bring everything to the boil. When it comes to a boil, give it a gentle stir. Now let's season with palm sugar, salt and chicken powder. Stir well and bring everything to the boil again. When our lovely rendang has come to a boil, bring the heat down to the lowest, place the lid on and let it slow braise for 60 to 70 minutes. Okay guys, our beef rendang is almost ready. Stir them gently. Let's finish off our beef rendang with some chopped lime leaves. Pop into our beef rendang and last but not least, add in the toasted desiccated coconut. Let's cook our beef rendang for about 2 minutes-ish, then it's time to plate. Guys, I hope I've made this video enjoyable to watch. If yes, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Until my next video, let me try this nice and soft tender beef rendang. I can easily devour two bowls of rice with this rendang guys. Now, let's dig in. Bye-bye, guys.